Well, you mentioned the Dear Evan Hansen, you know, is when you also discovered the voice. That's why I felt like, obviously, you created that role. You're perfect for the movie. Were you Thanks. expecting people to have, like, the reaction of, oh, he's too old for this? Like, were you, were you prepared for that? Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, people like to, uh, you know, <clears throat> have something to say um, that is negative, regardless of what it is. And so if my thing is something that I can't control at all, which is my age, then, like, uh, bring it on. You know what I mean? Like, I'm glad it's not about the performance or my voice or anything that actually matters. I think the reaction is largely from people that don't know the context of the piece. The fact that I created the role and workshopped it for three years and did all of the out of town productions and originated on Broadway and received the, you know, the accolades that I did and, and also not really understanding the fact that like, were I not to do the movie, it probably wouldn't get made. And so I think, you know, my defensive response is to want to like go onto Twitter and be like, you know, F you guys, like you don't even know that like this wouldn't exist without me. And like, of course, you know, that's not true entirely. And I, you know, that's not my, my place to say. And it's all I have to do is let the work kind of speak for itself. And hopefully people will realize that it's sort of ingrained in me and that this is kind of, there wasn't really any question on anyone actually connected to the piece or who is actually a part of the film. There was never any kind of discussion that it wouldn't be me. Do you genuinely feel <clears throat> like Evan is a part of you? For sure. I do. I mean, I think in like a literal emotional sense, I had that emotional event happen to me eight times a week for like many years. So like just the remnants of even that experience as a human being are still there. And then I also think there are like little things on a human level that I've picked up in terms of like my own anxieties and understanding them and coming to face them and you know, my own social anxieties and my tendencies in big groups to kind of close up and shut down. And just, it made me kind of examine things that I didn't ever really examine because when you're a performer or when you're sort of a public extrovert, my, my friend likes to say, um, you don't ever question within yourself, like, well, then I, I'm outgoing and I'm, it's easy for me to be around people. And I love being around people and I feel confident and because I perform in front of hundreds. So that must mean that. And I think he helped me to accept and understand and be okay with the fact that like, I can be someone that feels really nervous and anxious around people and feels like like I sometimes clam up and also be very confident on stage and that can be the same person. Um, so yeah, he's always going to be part of me. And then obviously on the sort of life scale, he just changed my whole life.